Hi, this is Nova Dimitri. Have you ever spent the night with a mosquito? Uh, it's a horror. You know it's gonna get you and you hate sleeping with its horrible sound buzzing around your ears waiting for the next bite. The mosquito has been one of man's biggest enemies out of out of most insects um, because it's also the bearer of malaria. Mosquitoes thrive in places just as this, just like this one. It's a swamp uh, where seawater and salt water merge together creating this enormous flats that you see all around me um, of stagnant water. Um, these kind of places are the birthplace of mosquitoes and they grow by the billions and if your village is situated somewhere over there they're gonna come and bite you. So what man has done with these places is to drain them. Um, so basically through a system of canalization such as this one, this is actually a natural canal but it can be made deeper and therefore you can drain the swamps much more efficiently and actually get them dry. Once they're dry the mosquito cannot live so it dies um, and the other advantage is that this land can be converted into productive agricultural land. This is a great pity and the destruction of the world's swamplands and baylands um, and deltas is one of the great crimes of our environmentally challenged age because these ecosystems are one of the most productive ecosystems. The amount of life that exists and is supported by this kind of landscape is absolutely stunning. There's nothing on earth that is as productive, not even the rainforest is as productive in terms of the sheer biomass that it can support and the diversity of species that flourish and are dependent on the nutrients that exist in places such as this one. Um, wherever you live, if you live somewhere where there is water and there is sea and there are rivers um, and you live in a country that is begin beginning to wake up to the importance of their environment, there will be um, some kind of water land that is, going, that is in the process of being preserved or fixed or restored. Uh, notably the San Francisco Baylands where, there's a no, where Google is actually situated where there's an enormous effort to recreate the Baylands into the natural state. So if there is such a thing, protect them because a lot of life depends on these things. Noma Dimitri from the swamps, take care.